Systems officer reports that the deorbit burn is underway. Good control of the vehicle. Discovery heading home to the Kennedy Space Center, bringing home the Expedition 1 crew after four and a half months in space. This view of runway 15 at the Kennedy Space Center, actually uh, south, uh, looking to the north of the runway where the lights are on. Again, the deorbit burn in progress, everything looking very good. Discovery heading home to the Kennedy Space Center for the 17th night landing in shuttle program history. So with the uh, successful deorbit burn, Discovery heading home. We're about uh, 29 minutes away from the point uh, called Entry Interface, uh, where Discovery will reach the first sensible traces of Earth's atmosphere at an altitude of 400,000 feet, traveling 24 times the speed of sound. The secondary actuator check and then the high fluid thermal conditioning will not be required today. Copy that, guys. Thanks. Houston, here comes the maneuver. And Roger, we are monitoring. Guess we show the Ford RCS dump time to be 35, 35 seconds. Currently uh, 4,900 statute miles uh, from touchdown at an altitude of 72 statute miles, dropping at a rate of about 570 feet per second. All of uh, Discovery Systems in good shape as it uh, begins a series of uh, command, computer commanded uh, roll reversals to dissipate excess energy. traveling at about 16,000 miles per hour. Range to touch down 3,300 statute miles from the Cape at an altitude of uh, 47 statute miles. Discovery in good shape. About 13 minutes away from uh, reaching the area of the Merritt Island tracking station to process S-band data. That will enable uh, navigational data to be processed uh, through the onboard general purpose computers to provide technical air navigation information and air data system information to the orbiter. He is about to cross the western Mexican coast just south of Acapulco on a ground track that will take it across the Gulf side of Mexico right over Veracruz. Traveling at about 13 times the speed of sound. Passing over the Mexican mountain range now. Meteorology group here at the Johnson Space Center reports uh, very good conditions, very calm conditions down at the Kennedy Space Center at this hour. Five at the Cape, that's the northwest to southeast approach to the three mile long landing strip. Time to touch down 12 minutes. Discovery, take tack hands. The tactical air navigation units on board Discovery are three redundant units receiving tactical data for range elevation and bearing from radio beacons located at the landing site. Discovery, Houston, energy, ground track, and nav are go. We're showing touchdown at 2,500 feet at 205 knots. Speed break close, commanding 13 percent. Copy that.
Discovery now traveling at uh, Mach 5, 27 miles above the Earth, range to touch down 274 miles from the Kennedy Space Center, approaching the Tampa-St. Petersburg area. The mechanical systems officer reports good repositioning of the drag chute that will be deployed after main gear touchdown on runway 15 of the Cape. The air data probes uh, should be deployed shortly. Those are two uh, probes located on each side of the orbiter's nose that uh, sense impact and static pressures at various points uh, to provide uh, the calculations of dynamic pressure, altitude, airspeed, and Mach numbers for the orbiter's onboard computers. Nine minutes to go until Discovery's homecoming at the Kennedy Space Center. Less than 200 miles from the Cape. Discovery now crossing the west coast of Florida. Computers firmly locked on to runway 15 of the Kennedy Space Center, range to touch down 148 statute miles. Discovery, take air data. Take air data. This first view from the Kennedy Space Center's infrared camera showing Discovery, 91 miles from the landing site at an altitude of 17 statute miles, traveling at Mach 2, dropping at a rate of a 270 feet per second. Discovery approaching the area of Terminal Area Energy Management, now traveling two and a half times the speed of sound, commanding uh, through a series of final banking maneuvers to bleed off excess energy prior to Commander Jim Weatherby's arrival at the heading alignment cylinder. Discover Houston, we see you on energy approaching the hack. Current surface winds are 240 at 9 or peak 15. We show that is all right. 
Late drag chute deploy. We'll try and get the crosswind DTO. Okay, good. We uh, copy that. Uh, late drag chute deploy. Thanks. Discovery darting uh, through clouds, uh, seen on this infrared camera. These are very high, thin clouds that Discovery is making its way through, uh, now just uh, 11 miles from the landing site. Correction, 68 miles from the landing site at an altitude of 11 statute miles. Time to touch down four and a half minutes. Discovery dropping at about 230 feet per second, right on course for an on-time touchdown on runway 15. Pilot Jim Kelly at the stick of Discovery taking a turn uh, as uh, he approaches uh, the heading alignment cylinder. He'll be handing over uh, control of the uh, flying of the vehicle to Commander Jim Weatherby at the time that Discovery hits the heading alignment cylinder just a moment from now. And now Weatherby has taken over control of the flying of Discovery as he begins to execute an overhead left-hand turn of 275 degrees to reach run runway 15, the northwest to southeast approach at the Cape. Discovery, low at the 180. Low at the 180. Now just two uh, minutes from touchdown. Discovery descending at a rate seven times steeper than that of a commercial jetliner. Commander Jim Weatherby at the controls. Discovery, on at the 90. On at the 90. Less than two minutes from touchdown, Weatherby executing this overhead left-hand turn to align Discovery precisely with runway 15 at the Kennedy Space Center. Microwave landing system information now being processed through the onboard computers to provide elevation and range information for Commander Jim Weatherby and Pilot Jim Kelly. Discovery on glide slope on center line. Roger. Weather be now precisely aligned with runway one five, just one mile above the runway. Weather be about to execute the pre-flare maneuver. 
Pilot Jim Kelly will be deploying the landing gear a moment from now. Gear down and locked. Main gear touchdown. Kelly will be deploying the drag chute a moment from now. Nose gear touchdown. Discovery rolling out on runway 15 at the Kennedy Space Center, wrapping up a 5.3 million mile mission, bringing home the first residents of the International Space Station after four and a half months in orbit. Discovery Houston, Roger, we'll stop. Congratulations on your historic missions as a crew of Discovery and Expedition One. We have no post landing deltas. We'll meet you on page 5-3. Okay, 5-3, Roger, right there. That's it, that's a negative. Crews completed or got in earnest with initial orbiter safing. This is shuttle ground control. We see thermal protection system workers using flashlights to spot check tiles on the lower surface of the orbiter. Automated count of the number of debris hits that the orbiter has stained on the lower surface. Once in the open